Welcome back, everyone, to ZetaCraft Season 4, Episode 12. And in the last episode, we built this incredible tree farm, the one that uh, was designed by Iceberg Lettuce. But uh, now that we have it, we needed a collection system because I didn't put that in last episode. And this is the little collection system I built with the different wood types that I'm actually going to use this for. One is the Hemlock, which you can see I've already done a quite a bit session here for. We have the Redwood. We have jungle wood. <laughs> I didn't do any jungle yet because I don't have a lot of saplings. Uh, here we have cypress. And the, the cypress doesn't yield as much because I can only uh, grow the small ones. And then over here, I actually tried it with the actual mangrove, which is what this was designed for, and it works. Uh, but there's a little issue with that. Once I grow mangrove tree in here, then the other tree types uh, don't grow until I get rid of all the mangrove wood. So, uh, yeah, we probably won't be uh, working with that too often unless we, we really, really need it. But, uh, yeah, I'm super happy with the way this thing turned out. And, uh, yeah, of course I had to create a tunnel to connect my farms, right? Because that's what I do. So here it is, is the tunnel. So this guy right here actually connects to the existing tunnel, which comes from my trading hall area, which is right here, this redwood. So I just put a, I put a break in the wall here to create this. So now this will take me to... The tree farm in this direction it'll take me to the iron farm but uh yeah we came across this chasm and we just so happen to have this new block type which is this uh open slotted jungle bridge i thought that looked really cool coming across this chasm if uh, any of you remember this is probably the original area where i went down and got some yeah, i think it was right down in there i got my original iron so yeah this is pretty cool i like this so this will take me over to the iron farm which I had to rework a little bit because of the way it connected. So uh, it actually butted right up against the cobblestone generator over here. So I couldn't really shift it any further over. And I couldn't really make it align with this. So it's, it's a little off. off, But uh, yeah, it is what it is. I also had to make this bigger because now we had to incorporate a lot more... Um, what am I talking about? Chests. Yeah, because I wanted to... I had, I had all the chests over here for this all the stone and cobblestone so I had to move them and I moved them into this area and when I expanded into this area I broke into the little cactus farm that's above here so I had to move that down here so now the collection for the cactus is in a convenient spot and over here we have the stone uh, some other stone stuff and then I had to move uh, the poppy seed uh, to bone meal contraption so that's over here put my poppies in here uh, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We have a whole bunch of iron still coming in. That's all been moved around. This every everything here still works. Uh, iron golems come in here and die. So that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. So, so what do we do now? Well, for one thing, I don't like to go AFK at my tree farm with it being so open because then when nighttime comes around, obviously mobs come out and they can just completely kill me. So what I want to do is I actually want to enclose it. And I think I think what I'm going to enclose it with is some terraforming. That's right. Hey, what's this? Keep a little dirt under your pillow for the dirt man in case he comes to town. <laughs> the dirt man. <laughs> this is interesting. Okay. Oh, I got some graffiti out of it and a red cushion. Okay, well, I don't really have a pillow, but I'll try to keep some... What is this? Pink moss. Who keeps leaving all these presents at my base? This is interesting. Pink moss. All right. Well, I'm not sure what we can do with pink moss, but uh, we'll hang on to that. Um, yeah, what was I just talking about? Oh, 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 yeah. What I wanted to do is I think I'm going to do some terraforming. I'm actually going to, I think, enclose. Actually, I'm going to try to enclose the tree farm, which is behind this tree ridge with a nice hill that kind of comes up and around like this. So I want to put in a nice big hill in the background here. So I think that would make a fantastic backdrop. However, I'm going to need a lot of dirt and a lot of grass for that because, well, it's a hill. So I also want to, at some point, build myself a tree shop to sell, or I guess a wood shop to sell all the wood. That I'm getting from this tree farm. And I kind of identified a nice area over here in the shopping district. So like, yeah, right about in here. I figure figure it makes sense. Like my tree farm's up there. It's like you float the wood down the river here. And eventually it gets into some kind of mill that will be in this area here. And we can do the selling. 
However, if I build here, I'm going to go into F4 mode, and this is free cam. So if I build in this area right here, uh, there's one big drawback. This hill. Yeah, this hill right here obstructs the view from the rest of the shopping district. So if anybody's over there shopping away, and they're like, oh, yeah, this is cool. Where the heck is the wood? I can't find it. They can't find it because it's hidden by this big mound of dirt. Yes, dirt, and that's what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten down this mountain just a bit. Or I should say mountain. It's a hill. I'm going to flatten down this hill a bit, get myself some dirt, and uh, yeah, we'll start working on the hill on the tree farm. All right, let's get to work. Even though I'm starting demolition today, actually in just a few minutes, I thought still I need to notify the other Zetas. So I'm going to put a notice right here in the center of the shopping district. What is this? That looks like geek. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Shulker transmitter, block of netherite, diamond. Wow, wow, netherite ruby block? Here is a little riddle. Can you figure out what it's about? I'll pick one winner this 16th of July. And you can win this amazing shulker box next to the lectern. Okay, here's the riddle. I'm found in the depths, yet float on hot sea. From solid to liquid. From solid to liquid, I can be set free. I can burn and smelt, create and destroy. A source of great power or just a decoy. I'm ancient and strong with a purpose divine. When crafted and placed, I show you the time. Show you the time. When crafted and placed, I show you the time. I'm hot to the touch, but cool in your hand. In the overworld, I'm a sight to command. Just in the overworld? Not in the nether? Oh, 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 went too far. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm going to give this a think. While I give this a think, I'm going to put up my, my notice of demolition. Okay, there we go. So I put up a map of the area, as you can see. And here I put the uh, two little X's of the hill that I'm going to demolish. So uh, I think this should be good. Leveling of hill with yellow X commencing today. Yeah, I think that should be plenty of notice for everybody. Okay, now back to the riddle. Um, yeah, I didn't come up with anything other than lava. I mean, it could be obsidian, but it, it, obsidian can't burn or smelt, but that lava definitely can. Um, so I think I am going to go with lava. I, I see that Maya went with it, Guru, and Backpack. But uh, you know what? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with it, too. I, I just don't... I can't think of another thing that, that fits all the conclusions. But what I don't get is that it shows you time. Like, the one that gets me right here, uh, let's see. Yeah, when crafted and placed, I show you the time. I'm trying to figure out how lava can show you the time. If you put it, convert it into obsidian, I'm not sure how you get a clock out of that. Anyway, the rest seems to fit, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm going with it. Mindless answer. Lava. Okay, taking down that hill sure gave us all the materials we need, and uh, I don't have shulker boxes, but I do have an army of backpacks. <laughs> yeah, that's what it kind of looks like, an army, doesn't it? They're all lined up, but yeah, each one of these pretty much holds what a shulker box can hold, so I'll be using these. The only downside is when you have these equipped, you get slowness if you have too many on, then you can't move. Uh, so that's the only difference there. So the next step here is to actually come up with a design. And the design I want, I'm going to go in F4 mode here, which is uh, free cam. So what I really want to do is I want to enclose this entire farm in something that looks natural. And I really want like a naturally looking hill. Not so much a mountain. I don't want a mountain per se. I just want a nice kind of like sloping hill, but big enough to kind of peek over these, uh, over this tree line here. Uh, I've tried to do this in the past manually, and I have not succeeded. So I have enlisted the use of a fantastic program called World Painter. I'm sure everybody knows about it. I have yet to ever use it. And I used it for the first time to make this little hill that I'm going to be putting in here. And I say little because with World Painter, you can make entire worlds. So from World Painter's point of view, it's little. 
I'm also going to utilize another tool that everybody I'm sure is familiar with, which is Lightmatica. So I'm going to use Lightmatica in order to give myself a schematic to follow as I build up this hill uh, from the import from World Painter. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. And there it is. Oh, it looks so absolutely wonderful. That is exactly the mood I was going for. Just something behind the tree line to give it some depth and uh, look very natural. And I think it does. I think it looks very natural. I did add some cobblestone and some gravel in there. But overall, it's mostly grass, mostly dirt. Let's take a closer look. So you can see here at the base how I made it uh, blend in with the current landscape that was here. So it, it looks like it, you know, it looks like it should be here. Not like somebody just put it here. And then we have the ravine over here, which was natural. And I made sure that the mountain side of the, or the hill side of this cut off at that ravine. So I didn't go over it. And it has just the right slope that I need as well. So I am absolutely pleased with this. One thing that's really cool, let's check out the interior. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty dark in here. I know, I, <laughs> I, I acknowledge that it's it's not really the best working environment for somebody who wants to work on this tree farm. Oh, oh, oh! Here the owl. Here, check this out. Check this out. I guess it was like episode two or three. I actually got myself a brown owl, but I lost him to a creeper explosion. But I got another one. Isn't that fantastic? I got another brown owl. So he's tamed up and uh, he's sitting in a boat right now. So he uh, he stays out of trouble. But I think the ambience of him in here is really, really cool because he, you know, gives off his hoots. Uh, but like I was saying, it's it's really kind of dark in here. I did do a uh, mini HUD to make sure everything was lit up so nothing can spawn in here. So this is safe for AFK. But uh, we are going to have to figure out some creative way to light all this up. And the other thing is, is I have an opening right here, but I plan on sealing that up. So the only way in and out of here will be through the tunnel. That's right, you can only get in and out through the tunnel. But it looks small next to these redwoods and, and hemlocks, but you got to remember these redwood and hemlocks are, are some odd, like, I don't know, some are like maybe 20, 30 blocks tall, so they're really tall trees, so it kind of dwarfs what this is, but uh, but it is pretty big. It is pretty big, and, and I am super happy with it. I'm going to look at that mountain over there. That one's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, we got that uh, jungle temple over there, too. I think uh, Bleat just rated that uh, recently in one of his videos, so you might want to check that out. Uh, but even over here where it hits the uh, the water line, it doesn't overshoot, and uh, I think I blended it. Yeah, I think it blended it quite well into into that. So yeah, I'm really really happy with the way this turned out, and uh, maybe I'll do some more in the future, given uh, my skills are now slightly increased with uh, Lightmatica and World Painter. But uh, but I did think of something else. I thought, you know what, the riddle, lava, lava makes almost too much sense, but there are some things I just don't think work in the riddle with the answer of lava. So I'm going to go ahead and change my answer to ancient debris, because I think that is way more fitting. So there it is. Wish me luck. Hope I win. The shulker box is amazing geek. So, uh, yeah, I hope it's ancient debris. <laughs> I really do. All right, well, with that, I am out of here.